I've got a bit of a different video for you today. I've got a card kit which I'm going to use to make up a card. Welcome, this is Esther, Stampin' Star Creations. Do subscribe to my channel. So I was given a piece of uh, very vanilla notelet with a um, matching envelope. And then we also have some punched out copper or brassy colour leaves. And then we've got a punched flower, some plaid paper, a strip of copper and some mint macaron ribbon. And here's what I do. So I was keen to get on and kind of put a bit of texture into the leaves and the flowers. So I'm just using my tweezers to give them a bit of a bend and a squash to create a stem down the middle and to make them a bit more 3D. And the same with the flower, I'm just using the top of my glue to squash it into my foam pad to create a bit of depth. Then with the ribbon, I was keen to try and pull the thread to see if I can make a tassel. <laughs> this end typically went wrong when I was filming and it, for whatever reason it didn't want to pull and I was getting into a tangle. So I'm just going to turn it around and do the other end that I already started. And look, you can see that if you find the end of the thread, you can pull it out and it creates these really cool tassels from the threads that are left. Then with the plaid paper, I'm getting my sprig punch and feeding that through. Now it's a bit tight, so I'm just going to use a post-it note to help me feed that through into the punch, which is a great tip and a handy one to have if you've got a small piece of paper that you're trying to feed through to your sprig punch. Now there wasn't enough paper to do a full punch, but there was enough to do two lots so I'm feeding it back through and it just goes to show it's amazing how much you can get out of one tiny piece of paper so then with the copper paper I wanted to do something with that so I'm distressing it up with the uh, blade of my scissors and then I suddenly had the idea of actually I can use an embossing folder that will create lovely texture so using the wood grain embossing folder and this is how it came out and it has this really cool plank effect across it so then to the card, I'm using the lovely U stamp set with Pretty Peacock to match the plaid paper. And I just wanted a nice border design down the side to create a bit of interest onto my card. So doing third generation stamping and getting lots of ink out of that image. And then just adding the sentiment smile at the bottom. So glue dots are your friend when it comes to things like fabric and ribbon and shiny stuff. So using the glue dots to create my tassel and then to attach it to the back of my card. Then using the big foam pads here, I'm just cutting them down into strips, cutting it down to size so I can lay it across the back of my copper paper. I'm leaving a gap because I know that I want things tucked behind there after I stick it down. Then adding on the flower, like I said, because it's on a shiny surface, I'm using the glue dots. And then tucking in the sprig leaves and the brassy coloured acorn leaves. Then taking off the colour from the stamp that I've just used, I'm just going to blend down one side. Again, just to kind of really focus on that nice border. So working my way around the leaves and trying to add the colour on there. Then, unfortunately, these are retired gems, but I do tend to keep hold of gems and ribbon that are retired because the colours are still coordinating and I can still use them on my projects. So using the gems to add a bit of decoration to my card. And then not forgetting the envelope. While you've got your stamps out, you might as well decorate your envelope and add a bit of interest to that. So on the front and then just stamping a simple leaf on the back. And there, just adding to the card kit by using the lovely use stamp set, the pretty peacock coloured ink, as well as the sprig punch and the gems. And the blending brush. <laughs> I 
I almost forgot, I also use the embossing folder as well. So just with a few extra accessories, I could just zhuzh up my card in the kit and created this. I hope you enjoyed today's video, something a bit different from me, and maybe something I will do again in future. So thank you so much for watching. Do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's video. Comment below, let me know what you think of the card kit, and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.